2018 Caravel 17 EBO. It's a 17 foot outboard boat. On the back, got the Mercury 90 horsepower four stroke. And on the back, we got the little step ladder. A little squeaky on us but you know in the water should be good so let's make our way around got graphics on the side a couple air bubbles in the graphics so uh, as we make our way pretty clean sides for the most part uh, a couple scuffs here and there uh, now on the decals down here we got a little little scrape here a little scrape here but nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, and look down in here. We do have a little, little niche out of the, out of the hull here, but won't, won't do any, won't do any major or any really damage at all. Just, just a little, little knock there. So looking at the top deck, we've got the snaps here for that snap cover single axle trailer make our way to the other side a couple scratches here on the top deck uh, nice grip here it's coming down this decal on the side uh, port side a um, couple scuffs here in the in the decals and we got a little scrape here on the on the lettering As we go here towards the towards the gas here, we got a little faded faded decal, but it almost kind of matches with the lighter gray. Couple couple guide I wouldn't call them guide poles, but a couple guide planks here on the edges of the trailer. And before we get inside, we'll take a look here at this uh, cooler slash um, just any storage. And right here you've got the spring, so take it down and just fold that spring and it'll fall. All right, nice bimini up here. But let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. We'll use the, use the ladder. All right, so on the ladder we got a nice grab handle here for when you need to get up out. All right, we'll get in here. Nice spacious back seat. I'd probably put about three on there, maybe. But the interior looks really nice. No, nothing major as far as seam splits or anything crazy. Maybe a little bulge here on this seam, uh, but it hasn't torn. And two speakers in the cockpit area. So speaker here, and then got the speaker over on this side. Uh, now, two captain's chairs both in great condition as far as the upholstery goes um, look really really good now they do have two, those little pockets on the back too for any fun storage small definitely small items um, nothing big um, but something cool there cup holders down below and as we're making our way you see we've got the storage right here so that's where that's where ultimately the cover will probably go uh, so this boat has uh, bow cover and a rear cover with uh, and basically one full cover over the two so all right both of these seats are flip up so you know you can sit on the, the high position or low ride same with the driver's seat sitting up now low rider but yeah it's great great quality seats here uh, very comfortable as well so let's go ahead and take a seat take a look at the helm so we've got throttle here good look there now below we do have a couple rust spots um, but you know it's it's not going to ruin your day just a couple stains here uh, also a cup holder so we've got two cup holders on each side nice caravel steering wheel it's got a nice 
almost carbon fiber looking design to it. It's definitely not carbon fiber, but it looks like it. On the dash, got our depth finder, bilge, stereo, nav lights, and the horn. Good looking clean dash. Now on the dash, it does have some of the plastic peeling off. Uh, so definitely be aware of that. Nice outlet there. And then on your right, we do have a couple cracks coming in from the from the window. That's the dash. Go over here to the passenger seat and take a look at that. Right here, we've got some storage, um, glove box, of course, stereo here. So it's gonna be USB. You got auxiliary. And I won't say it has Bluetooth at the moment. All right, down here we've got your stern light for nighttime driving, two cup holders as well. And then under the passenger seat up front, we do have a couple, couple loose. Loose screws, probably from, um, fr probably just from the mount positioning, um, but uh, keep in mind there. Um, right here, on the step up to the bow, uh, we do have, uh, I would just call this slightly loose, um, but nothing, nothing major. All right, make our way to the bow. We've got a nice, nice windshield here. So walk through. Full bow, probably fit too comfortably facing forward, and you get that center center seat cushion here to really close it out. We put a little throwable in there for storage, so it could be a potential storage area up here. Nice, spacious seating for two. A couple scratches on the top, just as far as where you're hooking hooking the bimini into here. couple cup holders up front as well as you've got the grab rails in the front and a nice step off up the front for when you're getting off the boat or getting on the boat good area to step on and off there is a little discoloration around these cup holders uh, some yellow what looks like some sealant or something like that as I mentioned that Bimini, nice black bimini for really, really sunny days. Got to cover yourself. But yeah, ultimately it's a very, very nice, nice looking boat. Uh, short 17 foot boat. Uh, but, oh, before I leave, I'll give you a little look at the under, the storage underneath that, that main seat in the back. Um, you know, this, this will pop up. You got your battery down here. And then couple couple rest spots just like we saw uh, on that driver's seat side as well just a couple rusty spots it's gonna happen when it gets wet and things sit so but pretty nice and then of course it does have that net here for when you need to store things in the back so just put it behind the net and you're good but yeah if you want to come check this boat out or have any questions give us a call on three boatworks 317-845-9253